So in the last screencast we did, uh, we took a look at uh, Robert Dempsey's method of setting up a competition hub in um, <clears throat> Google Reader. So I was a little bit rushed because I wanted to show you how to set it up in Reader, but now that you have an idea of how to actually do it, um, I just want to take a step back and show you how to sort of get keywords to actually pump into uh, your RSS feed to actually monitor. So um, right here we're looking at uh, uh, Market Samurai, which is a great great tool which is well worth the money I I have an affiliate link but I, I don't remember I, I, I'm not gonna put it up there but definitely check us out if you're gonna be doing serious keyword research so anyway <clears throat> we did a we did a lot of research on jewelry and the way we did that is we basically went to um, keyword generation and we started with we started with um, excuse me we started with We started with jewelry as our main keyword, uh, and so we type we type that in here. We uh, we type that in when we created a project, and we hit uh, <clears throat> generate keywords. And let me see, right, it would be right there. And I won't do that because it's because it's already there. We hit generate keywords, and it came up with a ton of keywords for jewelry. Um, and so then we went through and we did uh, keyword analysis. And uh, we went, and a lot of it was like bridesmaids and diamond jewelry, which is not bridal. So we added those as negative keywords, mean, meaning don't include those in the keyword analysis. So once we did a keyword analysis, uh, we came up with our own um, with our own set of keywords right here, and uh, I, I eliminated some more further. But after we had our list, it looks like there's 13 keywords here, a list of 13 keywords. Then I created this um, RSS hub in Google Reader. And basically what I did for that is I went through and I highlighted each one and I copied it. Um, and then we went to Google Reader and we just did the method that you're familiar, familiar with. Uh, we just uh, went to recommended items. And then we went to, um, I'm sorry, recommended sources. And try again, view all, there it is, view all recommendations. And then we went to search, and then for each one under topic here, uh, we did a phrase match for each one, and we we limited ours to Google blog search, Google news, and Twitter search, and we did that for every single one. Um, and then after we were done with that, we went into manage subscriptions, and we uh, selected all 42 subscriptions, and then we put them into a folder called jewelry, which matches our topic here. Then we added one more thing to this. If you go here, you can see it says, or you can use Google Alerts to set up feeds for many kinds of, of search results. So I went here to create a um, an alert for backlinks to um, the domain that we're optimizing this for, which in this case is fashionub.loi or fashionably. So to do that, you just you just do link, and then fashionably, and it remembers it in there. And we did type everything. Uh, how often we did as it happens volume we did all results and deliver to feed and then once you hit create alert it automatically puts it back into your subscriptions here and there it is right there so you see we have we have now a hub of competition that we can monitor very quickly um, to see what content is being produced on our 13 active uh, keywords that we chose from our keyword analysis using Market Samurai. Um, so basically, here you can monitor your competition. Uh, you can jump in and uh, you can get active on Twitter and respond to tweets and get content ideas by watching what people are looking for. Um, you can look for directories that you want to list yourself in. Uh, directories will come up here. Uh, you can look for um, partners where you can ask for links. Um, and you can just see what co content your competition is producing and sort of triage the damage by uh, producing similar content to them as well. And so that's just fleshing out a little bit on how to uh, set up that competition monitoring hub in RSS, which uh, Robert Dempsey did such a, was such a brilliant idea for him to, to hit on. And uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to look at next time actually pushing these results into WordPress. Um, so you can have a uh, you can have these as drafts to see if you that way if you want to create content around these as content ideas you'll have uh, the ideas right there in WordPress and we won't actually publish it because that would be content theft but we'll show you how to actually get them in there as drafts so you can create original content very quickly and very easily.